Welcome back to Hub Recaps. Today I will show you a the American thriller fantasy film, Gods of Egypt. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. This film story starts from that time, when a new god was being granted to rule over Egypt. And the name of this god was, Horus, who was the god of air. So, Horus, was set as Egypt god so his coronation was being held. All people had gathered there. Horus was about to coronate then the god of desert named, Set, approaches there. And, Set, was the uncle of, Horus, along with it. Set, gifts his nephew. And that gift was a horn. Set, asks, Horus, to blow that horn. Then, Horus, blows that horn. Everything was appearing good there. But the soldiers of, Set, reach there with blowing of the horn. Because, Set, had a negative reason to visit there. Set, stabs Horus's father with knife and kills him before they understand anything. It means, Set, kills his own brother. Afterwards, Set, announces before everyone. That the person will be killed who does not kneel down before me. Hearing it, all kneel down before, Set, including gods. Witnessing it, Horus, flies into a rage. So he starts fighting with his uncle, Set, and they are turned to their genuine appearance of god during the fight. But, Horus, was looking defeated. Because, Set, had swayed over, Horus, and he pulls out both of Horus' eyes. But, Set, spares his life instead of taking it. So he may live in the world of darkness as being blind. Afterwards, Set, dominates all over Egypt. This time, Egypt's situation was also changed. It means that all circumstance had gone worst. The humans were treated as animals. Because, Set, was stone-hearted god. It indicates that he had not a bit of sympathy in his heart. So it had become havoc for human beings to survive in that society. Then a boy named, Beck, comes on the scene in Egypt. There is also a childhood friend of, Beck. Both had affections for each other. Here it is revealed that there was an era of slavery in Egypt at that time. There were also the slaves even for God's companions. So the female friend of Beck, is the slave of Set's architect. So, Beck, and his friend used to meet each other hardly. Beck's friend had a thought as, God Horus, can help them. He is the only one who can release them from the slavery. So both make a plan. Because, Beck's friend had the knowledge about that place. Which was the place for Set's treasure where he used to keep his precious things. And, Set, has also kept the eyes of, Horus, in that treasure. Here Beck's friend explains everything to him that there will be the security of, Set. So go inside stealthily from them and bring eyes of, Horus. Later, they will return Horus's eyes to him. As a result, Horus, will help them. Acting upon it, Beck, reaches at the place of treasure. But there was also the threat. Because there were fixed traps at every place. So no one may steal anything. But, Beck, is secured from every trap easily. Moreover, he is able to steal one of the eyes of, Horus, there was a sparking light in that eye. Stealing that eye, he returns back to his friend. But they are surrounded by Set's soldiers. Because the master architect of the girl had known that the maps had been scrutinized. Because the maps of the treasures were missing from there. So he asks Beck, what have you stolen from God's treasure? But Beck, has acted wisely here. Because he had stolen a gold thing from there along with Horus' eye. Beck, tells that architect that I have stolen this minor gold item. He reveals nothing about the eye. Then they are sentenced to death. When soldiers move ahead to capture them, then, Beck takes out Horus' eye which light was brightest. The eyes of soldiers are dazzled for a time because of the brightest light of that eye. Taking the advantage of it, Beck leaves that place with his friend. Then both flee from there. They were thinking as they have escaped. But Architect shoots an arrow to Beck's friend, leaving her wounded. Then, Beck, immediately moves to that temple where that god, Horus, used to live. Going inside, Beck, calls, Horus, saying I have your eye. Hearing it, Horus, asks his eye from him. But, Beck, puts a condition in return of eye. I return your eye but you will have to do me a favor. Hearing it, Horus, is got aggressive. As being an ordinary human, he is putting conditions before me. Horus, also attacks, Beck, due to this. But, Beck, remains safe every time. And he does also not return his eye. Now, Horus, has taken back his eye. So he agrees with him. He says to, Beck, tell me your condition. Beck, tells, you have to rescue someone. Then, Beck, brings his friend before, Horus. Here, Horus, tries his best to rescue that girl but in vain. Because, Horus, had not godly powers at that time. Horus, says, that girl cannot be survived because she is at death's doorstep. Meantime, the god of death also appears there. And he captures the soul of that girl from her body. The god of death asks that girl, tell me what you will give me. That girl says that I cannot give you anything as being a slave. It has been shown here that human can make a deal with God of Death after his death. 
It means who will award the treasure silver or gold to the God of Death, then God of Death will return him into the world after reviving it. In case of not giving anything to the God of Death, he will take his soul away forever. Having nothing, that girl had to face this catastrophe of her soul. And the God of Death takes away the soul of that girl with him. Beck is much grieved at her death. Now he was not going to return Horus I to him. Because he had not rescued his friend in spite of being God. Being infuriated, Horus catches Beck. So Beck returns Horus I to him in order to rescue his life. Horus gets one of his eyes here. Then Horus demands of his second eye from Horus. Beck tells him on it, I had only one of your eyes. He tells that your second eye is in the pyramid of Set. I have already gone inside. I am aware about the inside area. Knowing it, Horus tells something, Beck. That your friend's soul has not gone away forever. Her soul has rather crossed the different ways. And her soul has also passed through final path. It will take the time of a few days. Getting the second eye, I will restore my powers. I will again be empowered as a god. Consequently, I will bring back your friend while rescuing her. Here they finalize their deal. It means, Beck will bring I for Horus, Horus returns Beck's friend in return. Then they save that girl's dead body at a safe place. Because Horus has promised that he will return soul back into the body. Horus also plans to take revenge from Set, and he will kill his uncle, Set. Then they leave for their mission. Set had known that Horus's eye has been stolen from the treasure. And Horus has also got that eye. Set commands after hearing it that they both should be slain. While Horus is moving to the high mountain, taking Beck, Beck asks Horus, where are you going? Horus replies on it, I am going to meet my grandfather. I am going to ask help from him. Saying it, Horus sits there. And he begins to think about his grandfather. Suddenly, Horus's appearance is changed into his godly figure. Now he could also fly. So he flies to heaven. Where Horus's grandfather appears who was the god of sun. It was the place where everything of the world is produced. Then son of god comes to his real form, holding his weapon. Because there was the Satan of Darkness which was menacing. He wished to destroy the world. And the gods of Sun were continuously confronting him. Using their powers, they send him back. Because gods of Sun are fighting for the world. And they were protecting the world from every affliction and Satan of Darkness. It is the basic mission of God of Sun to send back the Satan of Darkness every time. Coming there, Horus reveals the fact to his grandfather who is the God of Sun for which purpose I have come here. And he also reveals the reality of Set here. That he has killed my father and also had pulled my both eyes out. Now he has dominated Egypt. He has created the era of slavery. Hearing it, the god of sun says, If I involved in the conflict of my son's disputes or differences, my attention will be diverted from the world. I will be unable to protect it. So he asks help from his grandfather, the god of sun he says on it, Nothing can happen. Actions will be carried out according to the plan. Then, Horus asks the water of that place. It was not the ordinary water but containing the magical powers. And it was the water which is used to create the organism of world including humans and animals. The God of Sun provides the divine water to Horus. Afterwards, Horus returns to the world, taking the divine water. Descending on Earth, his godly appearances disappeared. Because Horus can get the look of his appearance if he has both eyes. Having the eyes, he is mighty otherwise he is weak one. They are attacked by the sent people of Set, when they are still in the forest. Horus fights with all of them. At last, a soldier throws Horus from the mountain. Seeing it, Beck also jumps off along with him. But Horus utilizes his possessed weapon before falling into the depth. They both are secured because of that weapon. Here it is exposed that why Horus brought that divine water with him. Because there is pyramid in the world which is stuffed with fire. And Horus thought, Fire is the source of getting power for, Set, Set's powers will be weakened if, Horus throws this divine water into the fire. As a result, Horus will easily take revenge from, Set. Now, Horus declares that now, Set, will send most dangerous and bloody people to kill us. Then the two ladies come on the scene sent by, Set, they were most threatening. Because they used to ride on the monstrous snake-like creature. Set, himself moves to a goddess which is goddess of love. Here, Set, visited to beg something from goddess of love actually goddess of love was in the world of dead people before it and she was the elder of those dead people afterwards set rescued her from the world of dead people and he brought her in this world after rescuing in fact horus and goddess of love used to like each other goddess of love also possessed many powers like horus 
Set, says to the goddess of love that you will take me to the world of dead people. Because I also want to rule over that world. But goddess of love openly rejects it. Goddess of love also knows it that he has got his one of the eyes. Set, proceeds to kill goddess of love but she takes off a magical bangle from her wrist before it. Doing so, she goes to the world of dead people for a few time. But she again puts on that bangle again. She moves to this world from the world of dead people through it. It was such a bangle that dead people will not be able to harm her until it will remain in her wrist. But taking off bangle from her wrist, the dead people will take her into their world. Horus and Beck move to an old temple. Set sent two ladies reach there, riding on the monstrous snake-like creature. Those monstrous snake-like creatures are also throwing fire from their mouths. They both snake monsters also attic them. But they were hiding themselves from them. Then Goddess of Love reaches there who finishes the monstrous snake, using his powers. Then they move to that place where the other eye of Horus was there. It was Pyramid. Beck says, I know about this place. I can also go inside. Goddess of Love declares that it is not easy to go inside. Going inside, you will face a monster there. It will ask a riddle, and it will end you on the wrong answer. Hearing it, Horus plans that he will go to the God of Intelligence. Because he is the most intelligent. Going to God of Intelligence, they reveal the whole story to him. But God of Intelligence was not ready to accompany them. But, Beck, says showing his sensibility, I can answer the riddle of that monster. God of Intelligence says, No, you cannot answer that. Because he poses a very difficult question. Look, he will end you if you don't answer. Beck, says, Okay, let him to kill me but I will reveal a fact to him. I went to God of Intelligence but he was feeling fear to answer. It was a great humiliation for any god. So God of Intelligence gets ready to help him. And they set on a journey. But Goddess of Love comes to know about the dealing of Horus and Beck, that Horus has said to Beck that he will bring back the soul of his friend. That he will revive the dead PRSON which is considered incredible. But Goddess of Love feels ill on this. Because Horus was just playing a trick with him to take his eye back. But Goddess of Love does want Horus to do as such. Because Horus was deceiving Beck. It does not suit to any god. But Goddess of Love asks Beck, do you want to contact your friend? Because the bangle of Goddess of Love, it could make it possible to create contact with the world of dead people. So, Beck, talks with his friend through it. Beck, says to his friend, don't worry, I will take you out from there. Because, Horus, God is helping us. Then they reach that pyramid. But there was not appearing any entrance. Beck, says, I know where is the entrance door. According to him, there is a wheel inside. The door will be unlocked if that wheel is rotated. So he enters between two stones. Then, Beck, hardly reaches that wheel. All activities are stopped as he rotates that wheel. Then a door is also opened and the rest of the people enter inside. That monster appears before there when they are advancing. Which will ask them a riddle. Then that monster begins to ask a riddle from them. The riddle was, neither I was and I will remain forever. Neither someone has seen me nor anyone will be able to view me. But every living being trusts in my existence. So tell me hurriedly. Who am I? What is my identity? Suddenly, God of Intelligence answers which is wrong. Hearing the wrong answer, that monster attacks him. Then God of Intelligence again answers after a deliberation. The answer is still wrong. Receiving the wrong answer, that monster was going to end them. Then God of Intelligence answers, future, his answer is correct one. So monster lets him to go ahead. Going ahead, he witnesses the eye of Horus. Taking out the divine water, Horus is about to fall it. But they are entrapped. Then, Set, reaches there. Here it is revealed that it was Set's plan. And, Set, had played a trick with them. Reaching there, Set, takes out the brain of the god of intelligence. He says, it was the dire need of mine. Getting a chance, Beck, takes back that divine water. He threatens, Set, I will throw this divine water into the fire. But, Set, shows a necklace to Beck, he tells, it belongs to your friend. And he tries to provoke, Beck, Horus, has used you. Because no one can revive the dead people. He says, I will end your friend's body if you throw divine water into the fire. Now, Beck, stops for the sake of his friend. And he hands over that divine water to, Set, taking that water, Set, throws it. Now, Set, escapes from that pyramid while others are trapped. And pyramid was nearly going to dashed into the ground. But, Horus, successfully rescues himself and others. And, Set, replaces his brain with God of Intelligence brain. Now he becomes mightier. After this, Set, goes to his father God of Sun, he also visited there with wrong intention because he wanted to take the weapon of his father. Attacking his father, Set, also grabs his weapon. 
Consequently, the Satan of darkness will be uncontrolled forever. It will start destruction in the world, coming there. Then it is seen that, Horus, and Goddess of Love has come out from the temple. Beck, feels ill thinking he was being played a trick. Here Goddess of Love stands with, Beck, because she wanted that, Beck, may get his friend. So she calls the God of Death there. She asks him, how much reward will you take to go to the world of dead people? God of Death says, the cost to go to the world of dead people is highest. Hearing it, Goddess of Love shows her bangle to God of Death. And she asks, will there be higher cost than it? Taking off the bangle, they will move to the world of the dead people so, Horus, forbids her of doing so. And she hands over her bangle to, Beck, taking it off. And she herself moves into the world of dead people. And, Beck, also goes to meet his friend along with this. Where the soul of Beck's friend had reached to the last door. There was big bout for her. As giving gold, she will be able to return back to the world. In case of having nothing, she will be left here forever. Beck's friend says, I have nothing. Meantime, Beck reaches there, holding magical bangle. Then it is seen that the Satan of Darkness had arrived to attack the world. Because the protector god of sun was no more. Then god of death suggests to, Beck, go. Return back to, Horus, because he is the only one who can protect the Satan of Darkness. How much time will I take to stop him? Then, Beck returns to this world. And he reveals everything to, Horus, but, Set, has his father's mighty weapon. In spite of this, he lets the Satan of Darkness to come in this world. And he was going to lead the Satan of Darkness to the place of Divine Water. Because Divine Water such a water which was used to create the world. So the Satan of Darkness will drink the water which will cause the eradication of the world. Before the approach of the Satan of Darkness to the Divine Water, coming there, Horus, struggles to stop, Set, and a tough fight begins between them. But, Set, again puts a heavy hand on, Horus, here. Beck, reaches there when, Set, is about to kill, Horus, helping, Horus, he takes out the Horus's eye from the armor of, Set, and he throws that eye to, Horus, Set, gets infuriated due to this act. And he throws, Horus down. Horus, is also not able to get his eye which was fallen down. Here, Horus, was in Trapidi, having two choices. Either he may rescue, Beck, or take back his eye. Getting eye, his all powers will be restored. But, Horus, decides here that he will rescue, Beck, catching him, Horus's appearance is changed. It means, he forms himself the godly appearance Eve he had not his eye. Here it is known that all powers of, Horus, has been restored. Because his power was not in the eye, it was rather in it as he may turn into a good god, leaving the obsession and helping someone. Although, Horus, has committed the same so he gets his another eye. There is again a battle between, Set, and, Horus, at this time, Set, is defeated. When, Horus, is nearly to kill him, then, Set, begs him, Don't kill me. Let me go. I had also let you go. Kindly give me a chance. Horus, says to him, I am not stupid like you. I will not commit that mistake, done by you. Saying it, Horus, takes the life of, Set. The Satan of Darkness was proceeding to Divine Water. Then, Horus, goes to his grandfather, the God of Sun. And he returns back his weapon. Using it, the God of Satan sends the Satan of Darkness into its world. Beck, was also died during this time. As being God and Mightiest, Horus, revives Beck, and his friend. Afterwards, Horus, becomes the God of Egypt. He sets a rule as that man will be recreated after his death, who had done the good deeds in this world not in return of silver or gold. Now, Horus, moves to the world of dead people. Where he will take Goddess of Love back. All circumstances are turned better, and the movie also completes with upbeat ending.